forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with meteorologist Sabian Cologne. Good evening, everybody. Another hot and sunny day today with temperatures in the upper 90s and lower 100s. But right now, looking at our Syntex, see us go to Sky Tracker out here in Woodway with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures checking in right now at 101 degrees with the east northeasterly wind at 9 miles an hour. So, speaking of these 100 days, right now we're at two days in a row. We had a couple days back in July and back in June. So, those are counting up. Today's high was 102 degrees. Our average Average for this time of year is 98 degrees. We do have another more chances to add on to these couple of days that we had so far. So we're just keeping out for that. But now we have a heat advisory, which is in effect for all of Central Texas and down to the Brazos Valley. Brazos Valley was added as of this afternoon. That takes an effect tomorrow from 11 o'clock to 9 p.m. This from Waco Temple in Colleen is taking place now until Thursday at 9 p.m. Just make sure you drink plenty of water, stay hydrated, and make sure you take breaks from being outside in the sun. Heat index values are between 105 and 110. But now going to our other temperatures, it's 99 degrees in Mejia, 101 in Waco is in Temple, and 102 in Colleen. It's 108 over in Comanche. Now to the Brazos Valley, a little bit cooler down there, 98 degrees in College Station and 97 in Brenham. Our heat index values is the more moisture down in the Brazos Valley. It feels like 106 in College Station, 104 in Cameron and Hearn. Along the I-35 corridor, it's 96 or 106 degrees in Temple and it's 99 in Waco. Going now to our satellite radar, not much going on for Central Texas or Texas as all well because we have that upper level high just parked right on Texas and really guarding us from any type of rain showers or any type of heat that is going into our area. But now we're going to the real story is along the east coast is Tropical Storm Debbie moving north northeast at three miles an hour. So it's really stalling and it's really start to dump all that heavy rainfall on that area. It's moving at or sorry, the wind sustained at 60 miles an hour. And as it goes up the east coast, it's going to start to lose some of its power. We're going to track that using the tracker brought to you by the National Hurricane Center as it goes inland and gets towards North Carolina. It's going to start to lose some of its power and become a tropical depression. As it goes into Virginia and into Delaware and into Pennsylvania, it's still a tropical depression. But as it works its way towards the coast of South Carolina, there is a lot of heavy rainfall, about eight inches to six inches of rain locally. As it works its way towards inland, it's going to lose some of that in about four to six inches of rain. But now coming back home to Central Texas, starting here at seven o'clock, temperatures are still in the upper 90s, putting this into motion. As we get to that midnight hour, drop it down to the low 80s. As we go into the morning of that Thursday, temperatures only get down to the upper 70s, so not much of a break. As we get into the afternoon hours of that Thursday, those temperatures start to crank up in the upper 90s with plenty of sunshine. As we get into that Thursday evening, triple digits for everybody and mostly sunny skies as we go into the evening hours of that Thursday. Into that Friday morning, we see this stationary front. That's when you're going to see some more rain chances as it goes into the afternoon and it turns into the evening that goes through our area and we do have a small chance of those showers on that Friday night. But as we go to tonight's forecast, mostly clear skies, 76 degrees and tomorrow the triple digits are here, 103 degrees, plenty of sunshine, heat index of 108. So it's going to be a hot one tomorrow. Here's the rest of your long range 10 day forecast brought to you by Tanner Roofing. 20% chance of showers on Friday. That's that stationary front that's coming through. As we get to that weekend, double or probably triple digits, 100 degrees on both of those days, plenty of sunshine. Then we get to that next work week, 99 degrees on Monday. And then we get to Tuesday, 101 degrees. And then the overnight lows in between the upper 70s and lower 80s. Headed down south to the Brazos Valley, 101 degrees tomorrow, 100 degrees on Friday. Your weekend in the double digits, 99 on Saturday, 98 Sunday with copious amounts of sunshine. Overnight lows in between the upper 70s and lower 80s. Copious Copious amount. Copious. Got to got to change it up. I was saying said a lot of sunshine. Use some more adjectives. Yeah. Got to get creative with it. Gotta whip out the copious. Copious surplus a lot. Oh. All of the all too the much. Too much. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Xavier. Yeah.